dude. What is happening? Yo, what is up? How's it going? I'm James and welcome to Arcane. Last time on Arcane, we got ourselves a underground story. Just like the first uh, episode was a upper floors story, now we got the under under floors story with Jinx. We now know what is happening with her, just like we know what's happening with the upper floors from the first episode. And, and they are kind of starting to clash a little bit. As the upper floors are invading the under floors, looking for Jinx, trying to get her to capture her and put her to justice. So far, they were almost successful. It was really close but she did get away and with the help of new friends actually two new friends the, the one with the arm friend and the little child friend who uh, who knows what what she he they he didn't speak yet so who knows one creature that is you know what what is he she gonna do the little child i mean is he she gonna be important who knows but jinx the good friend she is she did make a gift to the girl with no arm she gave her her new arm which is which is kind of bad i'm not gonna lie she just pulls the thing and it's something random each time like what she's gonna get is it's not the best she may be better off with just a stick for an arm but you know i'm i'm, I'm not gonna judge Anyways, I am yapping way too much. So with that being said, let's not waste any more time and let's jump right into Arcane Season 2, Episode Number 3. Man, man, man. I am pumped. I did check the <laughs> I did check the reviews on IMDB, Caitlin. But remember, you're a Kiraman. Recap. I will lead a strike to yeah. Zorn with And the first two episodes are like 9.1 out of 10. There's first and second. But then the third is like 9.6. And uh, what? Why? I wanna see. This one seems to be good. And it's. I've instructed our architects to devise a ventilation system. Oh. The people of the That's what was on the thing, huh? They got ventilation systems up in the. The dead is a good plan. I thought they just have bombs or something, but they actually have uh, a proper ventilation systems in the place to navigate the gas into where they want it to go. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude. Starting strong already. Also, last episode I caught as the first guy was in the gas and he got scared. And that was the free-eyed monster and, you know, what, what was that? That was the scope of the of the rifle. I paused it, and it, it was the scope. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Ah, huh. there you go. They got a figurine for each member. So Jinx knows. Do our people know though? As I was, as I was editing the second episode, I realized that as uh, as they found the uh, gas the first time, the, the guy that is now dead, that the squirrel or whatever he was, raccoon with the mechanical arms and shit, Lord Farquhar, uh, he was talking something about uh, the gas as, as, as like he knew what it was maybe. So there's a chance the people of underground know what it is. I'm not sure on that. But uh, Jinx definitely knows that uh, it's it's uh, Vi and her friends and Caitlyn. And they are out there to get her. So now she's got to get them first. So let's see. Thanks. I thought I was a goner. They do be looking cool as hell, though, with the, with the outfits. Especially Caitlyn with the white hand, the commander hand. Hell yeah. Sorry, it's... It's the gray. It gives me that. Tell us how you wound up here. Hey, wait, wait, wait. The jig, jig, jig is off the rails. The gray? For her. That's the gas. She was headed towards the old tunnels. Something about rerouting the vents. This what? is it then. Cuff him. I, I told you everything I know. You're a confessed criminal. You'll spend your retirement in a cell. Check your gear. This is what we've trained for. Can I get a minute? She is determined. No matter what, she's gonna get her. So tell me, Amara. What does a member of Piltover's Merchant Guild want from me? Amara? I'm not here representing the Guild. I've come here to settle a debt. My bookkeeper is down the hall. What you've stolen is more precious than any gold. What's Did up? you truly oh. believe Piltover was beyond our reach? 
Ah. My son She's is a dead. sorceress. Is that not enough to sate your bloodlust? I haven't insulted your intelligence, Ambassador. Do not insult mine. We know Those what effects you're chasing are in Piltover. Crazy. It's like a little red uh, cosmos. Your visit only confirms my suspicions. <laughs> Try to stop me, insolent witch! Wait! My death means nothing. You should have given up the feud. You have no inkling what family is to me. Why, man? And she was so cruel. I guess, I guess they need to save the budget on the effects. I can't let her get away again. Are you sure you're My right? My sister is gone. There's only Jinx now. It has to end. I'm so sorry about your mother. I'm sorry, I can't bring her back, but please, just everyone in my life has changed. Promise me you won't change. Oh. Oh boy. Good day. I didn't. I won't. Until now, right? <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh fuck. Dude, that's that's dope. It didn't it did not until now, right? I don't think they did. Man, but that sucks though. Because now they both have something major to lose. And I feel like uh, the show the show may or may not play into that. What the hell is realize how easy it was for me to track you down here well i do own the place she's gotten no closer to jinx but that doesn't seem to steal the stars from she anyone's eyes she did though perhaps if you hadn't let a child overpower you in your own chamber rally every house and family with even a modicum of influence can you manage that wait for certain yes of course whatever you need there is another matter concerning your guild merchant amara Was that the one who died? The sorceress? Wait. Oh, shit, it was. Oh, okay. Well, rest in peace. You're using me to get to her. And then what? You take what you need, hang me out to dry? Hmm? I'm expendable? No, no one is expendable. That's what this is all about. But some people are more than others. They're setting up some big announcement. All the who's who. Aiming to take over and put Sallow in the hot seat, but... We know who's really pulling the strings. I caught a name, Amara. I don't know what you make of that. Here, brand new cocktail. All the rage. It's made with shimmer. Leaves traces on the body. That should be all you need to shut Sallow down. Dangerous as she is, your mother was spooked. Could smell it. Like a cat backed into a corner. Interesting. The upper floors are playing two sides. Victor hypothesized that there may be something he called wild runes. And then Patterns there's that would occur this guy? When the border between our world and the arcane is thin. Runes like the ones you use in Hextech. Most places the arcane is dormant, but here and there, it's more active and wild runes are... Sort of like it's fingerprints. Exactly. S so you're telling me that pattern is on my tree because you pissed the arcane off with all your demands? That's that's not what I. <laughs> oh, the lad may be on to something. <laughs> Every action sparks a reaction. Oh, ball sockets. <laughs> Do you think this could actually ball be sockets. a result of overuse of hextech? Balls have no sockets. And why would it appear on a tree? Deep under ground. Hmm. Is it because of the because of these guys? They do be teasing. Uh, Vi and Galen a lot. Or what are they stumbling upon? Kate, if you see an opening, take the shot. Vi? Is she here? What 
up. I thought the gemstone mesh was installed above ground. The mesh is above ground, but we weren't sure what would happen if the gate overloaded, so we installed a failsafe at the base. So instead of it exploding in your neighborhood, it would blow up in ours. We're miles from the main fissures. Inconceivable. You know, you say we should feel my wall. It's... We're the ones that get played. What the... It's a fact here. What is happening? Finally got the name right. Oh, she, she is there. Guess there really isn't a crack in the earth where you won't find me. Never thought my sister would turn blue belly. Never thought mine would orphan kids. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Done it to myself enough. But plastering my face all over so someone else would do your dirty work? She's still there. Please, I'm done blaming myself for your mistakes. Done pretending you're my sister. You're not. You killed her. I'm not gonna let you stain her memory anymore. Then stop me. Because no matter what I do, I just can't seem to die. That's a mirror. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. <laughs> yeah, a mirror. Wow, what a shot though. <laughs> uh huh. Dude, so much is happening right now. What the fuck? I have no idea what that is. What is that? And it will Ah, oh, she's there too. Oh no. That's Wood Kira, I think. What the? Heck stick is passing. Not a good timing, man. She actually shot the thing at her. She had she, her thing was hectic, hectic too. I forgot, dude. What have we done? What is happening? Oh, that's a finger. She can be an assassin now. Go on. I'm ready. I'm glad it's you. Had to be you. She ain't gonna do it. Come on. The child. Man, that's reflecting them so much from the first season. Damn. What are you? Get off me. She doesn't even care, but man, the little one cares. She's a child! Move! She's not getting away again! Kate... Move! Kate! 
She's gonna get it, no matter what. I mean, she is right there. No, no, no! This isn't how it's supposed to. What the hell? Oh no. Oh buddy. Shit. That's from the trailer. Dude. Jinx just pulled Game of Thrones for the you know, the city blew up. But is it just bombs or uh, is it is it just color? Or did people die? That's the question. She's gone, isn't she? Yeah. And now she's now she's gonna be mad and why for saving her. You stopped me. Yeah. Shouldn't have had to. That was a kid. What have you missed? I wasn't going to miss. What's wrong with you? I keep telling myself that you're different, <sighs> but you're not. Damn. It was just color. But now the cleaning fees. They're gonna be so high, the city's gonna go bankrupt. Good work, Jinx. Alora, what's wrong? The witches. Holy! Dude, that is such a cool effect. Where did she go? The pain explosion did seem Thank you all like way bigger deal from the trailer. I've come to trust I guess the expertise not. of Ambessa Medarda. You no doubt recognize the name. Yesterday, I met with your guild merchant Amara when two Zornite assassins fell upon us. I tried to save her, but the blade pierced her heart. Our families should not need fear an assassin's dagger in the night. Mm. It's time to end this. You've given Zorn opportunity after opportunity to repair their wrongs. And how have they answered? Wrath must be met with wrath. Wrath is cool. Holy shit. You must declare martial law. Appoint a general to lead until this threat is vanquished. Someone who will not pale when faced with Zorn's degeneracy. Until all our families are safe. Of course. I could only be referring to Caitlin Kiriman. What? Dude. for your son it was her it's you Holy! Oh my God! Another teaser of the of the wolf. This is the trailer. 
that I saw, I think. It's the first one they released, no? Yeah, I remember I remember the guy's bald head in the blood. Yeah. Man, what? I okay, he's working on the wolf, but like, what for? <laughs> What is he gonna do with that? It's gonna be yet another party joining the fun, joining the Bal Bal Royale. Man, this show is insane. And that has been Arcane episode three, the MVP for this one. Um, damn, I really, I really don't want to give give her the MVP, but I gotta because she was the MVP in this episode. The MVP is gonna be that woman whose name I, I, I legit don't even know but yeah the commander or whatever the, the mom of the council woman who did have her fingers in it as i said dude she, she did have her fingers in the whole thing from the very beginning she is pulling the strings she is the puppet master apparently holy shit um we do have a ready to catch up to so only thing i'm gonna say on on this discussion is that that whole sequence with the fight but that was insane from just the amount of details they put into it Holy shit, I gotta rewatch that again because, uh, man, the quality of of this show actually crazy anyways i really do wonder what our people have to say about this show so far the first three episodes in so with that being said let's check reddit 10 out of 10 animation 2 out of 10 story 0 out of 10 music the songs real produces are just edgy cringe garbage what dude who what? Amazing, but I feel like the people who know League lore can predict 80% of what's happening here. And people who are clueless are kinda lost. I'm fine with it, but it's a different approach from season 1. Dude, what are these? Oh my god, I can't wait for Act 2. Yeah, finally, some hype. The visuals are insane. Those French anime animators are beyond talented. What the fuck? Yeah. Um... Wait, wait. Oh, oh, this is the League of Legends sub. Oh, okay, I see. That's why. Gotta go on the actual arcane sub. It was said in Caitlyn's bio that in recognition of her self-made success, Caitlyn's parents crafted her a hextech rifle of exquisite artifice with greater accuracy than any musket. So the rifle was a gift from her parents. However, in the show, we were shown that Jace crafted her rifle and her mother was already dead thanks to Jinx. Was this a mistake? I remember it was stated that arcane is canon. Um. Who, who knows? I don't think that is that important. So excited for Act 2. Watching a BS movie and it makes me appreciate Arcane all the more. True, man. Like, the fucking quality is all the way up there with this one. This arc has glaring pacing issues. It is such a downgrade compared to Season 1. What? The animation is stellar. The dialogues are good. But too much is happening too fast. Kate kisses Vi. Ten minutes later, Kate hits Vi and leaves her agonizing in the Undercity. Why is everything happening so fast? Oh, she did leave her. <laughs> I didn't realize. She did leave her down there, huh? I mean, they only do... They do only have nine episodes to fit everything in. And I'm, I'm guessing bigger things are about to happen still. Arkane should have been three seasons. It's obvious by now that the ideas they had cannot fit into its limited runtime. You know what? I'm enjoying... I'm enjoying the hell out of this. Anyways, I am so confused as to what happened to Victor. I understand he merged with the Hexcore, but that still limits my understanding. He is... He became an avatar for the Arkane. Oh... Ah. Oh shit. Kate suffering from success. Jinx success from suffering. Vi suffering. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Really enjoying two shows about blue balls and golden balls. Dan the Dan, lol. True. A super question about the stuff Heimerdinger tried to touch at Wild, Wild Rune on ground. Is it from Blood of Victor he coughed in season one or am I tripping? It does. I mean, it looks the same. It's yet to be answered, I guess. All, all this. What the hell was happening with them? Vi, Kate, if you see the shot, take it. Vi, five minutes later. Won someone please think of the children? I mean, yeah, of course. Okay, it was a child. Also, I feel like it kind of reminded Vi of uh, the way Vi was protecting Jinx when she was smaller. You know? And the innocence yeah i don't know i don't really have problem with this as many people seem to have looks like anyone tired of the music videos nope i know people like them but they take me out of the story every time the action is cool though no i'm not <laughs> that's literally just arcane yeah also it's been like three of those scenes and they are explicitly giving giving information it's called visual storytelling 
Yes. Am I the only one who don't really care about Isha? Like she feels kind of shoehorned into the story just so Caitlyn fails to kill Jinx. Oh, okay. So Isha is the kid's name and it is a she. I don't know how to feel about it yet. I mean, yeah, she kind of she does feel shoehorned. But also she, she is serving a purpose. I do feel like she's going to have a bit more to do maybe in Act 2 and 3. Do you think we will see the Vi pin fire scene in Episode 4 or 5? Based on the order of the album on Spotify. <laughs> what? I feel like 5, but that makes me sad because I want to see its content context ASAP. So that's where she's got the black hair, right? Yeah, I'm guessing she probably is gonna leave the, the police force now and uh, go rogue. Enjoying this, but I gotta say the music is just awful and really turns me off. What? What are these people on about, dude? It's part of Arcane. Can anyone explain the Merdada and Guild Merchant lore and the Panther Lady, of course? The Guild Merchant is from the Black Rose, a secret organization that has existed since Noxus Foundation. Technically, it's older than Noxus itself. What happened between them and Medarda? I don't know. I haven't read Ambesa's lore. But last season, she said that she crossed someone's powerful, so it's likely that it's something related to the leader of the Black Rose, LeBlanc. Oh, okay. Yeah, and they said she, she kind of lost her stuff and the is now cornered in a way and maybe that's why she came over in the first season hello do you think that is possible to have a final fight but without music but keeping voice and effects of combat i'm curious on how it would make the scene more intense or no and only focus on the fight no switching to the hex core dude what are these people on about that is actually boggling my mind like movies and shows and everything have music in them it's called a soundtrack this one may be actual songs instead of just a soundtrack but that's what makes it unique the subtext of this show feels so relevant and fresh i can't wait to see how they they continue and finish all these fresh yeah there is so many parties involved and the, the subtext and the context in all of them like you can see it even if they're not talking to each other especially in that one last scene where uh, caitlin became the, the commander or whatever to the looks everyone was giving each other it was crazy overall i really liked the first three episodes i like the fast pacing and not wasting time rehashing things from season one yeah. New characters jump right in and we learn about them through context and flashbacks. They're really making every minute count. If there's any flaw, maybe the kiss to break up scene was too fast. I mean, maybe, but also there may have been a bit more time in between those two. Also, if there wasn't, like the kiss set up a kind of a tension between those two and they thought they were on the same page. After the kiss, like, hey, you know what I want and I know what you want. We want the same thing, right? But then it turns out they don't, so it just kind of accelerated the breakup more. I don't know, that's how I'm interpreting it, at least. Caitlyn in her Hitler era, the nerds together. Victor being the messiah, Mel kidnapped, I can't. Wait, is Caitlyn actually... Is Caitlyn about to be bad? Man, if she is, that is, that is gonna be interesting. Well, anyways... That has been Narcane, the first three episodes. Do you agree with the criticisms? Do you agree with the positive things people have to say? Leave a comment below. Have you enjoyed this reaction? Consider leaving a like or a sub, because if you do not, you're gonna get kissed and then broken up with 10 minutes later, and I'll be seeing you in the next one.